Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something really fun. I'm super excited. Um, I have been trying to do this video for a while now. I was going to do this um, before I even... It was going to be my first video, but it wasn't and that's okay. Um, I'm finally sitting down to do a get to know me slash question and answer type thing. Um, I asked you guys for questions on my Facebook and my Instagram. So I have a lot of questions, so I think we should just get started. Um, I wanted to say really quick, if you are new, I would love if you sus subscribed. I have a lot of fun channels, or er, fun videos coming up. Um, a lot of like holiday budgeting and holiday wish lists, or not wish lists, but gift ideas um, for women, kids, and all of that. Um, so first I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about me. Um, my name is Carissa. I am 27. I am married to my high school sweetheart, I guess you could say. We've been together since we were 16. Um, we've been married for 7 years. Um, we have 3 little girls. We have Grace, who is 9. We have Macy, who is 8. They are Irish twins. And then we have Abby, who is 4. Um, I own a coffee shop in the town that we live in, um, but technically we live out in the country, so I love that we get to live in the country. That's just a fun fact about me. Um, what else? I don't know. I think that that's about it. Um, I guess you'll learn a lot more about me in these questions, so I am just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to keep looking at my phone because I have all of them um, screenshotted on here. So let's get started. I'm not going to go in any specific order, I'm just going to kind of read. Um, foods that I will absolutely not eat. Honestly, I will usually try anything at least once, um, but I really will not eat Hamburger Helper. <laughs> I know that's weird, but that's one thing that I can't stand the smell of it. I can't stand the look of it. I hate Hamburger Helper. Um, if you could travel anywhere with everything paid for, where would you go? I would go to Norway. What is something that not a lot of people know about you? That is a tough one. Um, I know one thing. I'm not sure if I want to open up about that, but I guess I'm not going to go into detail, but um, I have struggled with addiction in the past. Um, foods you absolutely will not eat. Eat. Oh, I already did that one. <laughs> Biggest heartaches and triumphs. Triumphs. Um, my biggest triumphs would be my kids, of course. And also, I would say just my kids and being a wife and all of that. Um, biggest heartaches would be... Um, someone who is very close to me having cancer and also losing my cousin um, two years ago. Um, what else? How did getting pregnant young change your life? What was your mindset? Um, I mean it changed my life completely um, but all for the better. I'll go back to that uh, previous thing that I said that I'm not going to go into detail about, um, but as far as having an addiction, um, she changed my life um, because it made me realize that it wasn't about just me anymore and that I needed to change and get better for a baby and not just me. Um, what was my mindset? I was actually really excited. Um, I was, I had just turned 17 when I got pregnant. Um, and my mindset was honestly good. Of course I was scared. Um, I think anyone is scared being a young mom, but 
I was really excited. How do you manage to always keep pushing forward to reach your goals? Um, I would say just staying consistent, um, not letting, you know, setbacks drag you down. Um, that's easy to, it's easy to let something negative drag you down and make you want to quit, but you just have to learn that no matter what stage you're at in life, whether you own a business, whether you're a mom, whether you have a job, things are going to happen, um, that make you want to quit and not push forward anymore, but you just have to keep going and you have to stay consistent. Um, how do you balance kids and running a business? I, again, I think consistency is key. Um, time management is also key. Um, if you do not have proper time management skills, I don't, I th I'm sure it would be a lot harder to balance everything. So... I guess that's all I would say. I will say though, I do have a manager for my business now though, so that takes a lot of pressure off of me. Of course, I still have things every single day that I have to deal with, but that does take a lot of pressure off of me and is very helpful. What are your favorite things to do as a family? <clears throat> um, in the summer, we love camping is one of our favorite things to do. We love really anything outdoors, just going to the lake for the day, or really anything with water. Um, in the winter, it's a little bit harder. Um, we have a lot of movie nights inside. We go to the movies a lot. And yeah, that's about it. Just spending time in general as a family. Favorite movies and shows. Favorite movies, my favorite movies never change because I never really watch new movies. I'm not a huge movie person. So my favorite movies will always be 16 Candles, um, What's Eating Gilbert Grape, Pretty Woman, The Sweetest Thing, and that's about it. That's my favorite movies and I don't think they'll ever change. Um, favorite shows are Sons of Anarchy number one, uh, Wentworth, number two, and I like, um, oh, like Long Lost Family on TLC. I love that show. Um, what is the most rewarding thing you have done other than being a mom or wife? I would say owning a business, being able to supply people with a job, really fulfills me in some way um knowing that I'm helping to support them of course they're working so so hard but just knowing that I own the business and I'm able to supply jobs for people I would say um favorite makeup products I actually um prepared for this question and I pulled a few of my favorite things out it was super hard because I'm I'm a huge makeup person, um, but if I had to choose just like a few things, I tried to keep it to five, but I think I have six. Um, I'll start with the foundations first because foundation is my number one favorite thing. Um, if I'm going for full coverage, I always go for Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. Sometimes I mix my hourglass stick with it. If I'm going for light coverage and I'm in a hurry, I use the Makeup Forever um, foundation powder. And I've never been a powder person, but this is absolutely amazing. I'm actually going to be doing a video using this soon, so I'm not going to go into detail. My Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Uh, Morphe Setting Spray. This happens to be the Jeffree Star one, but I like just the original too. This one just smells like um, strawberries. And probably number one more than any of that stuff is my MAC lipstick in Modesty. It has been my ride or die for probably 
four years. Like, I wear it all the time. That's what I'm wearing right now. So, um, oh, whoops, I had seven. This isn't really makeup, this is skincare, but honestly, I've been using this for at least five years, and I feel like I can't live without it. I'm about gone again. This is, like, my fourth <laughs> tube, um, but it's the Peter Thomas Roth Peeling Gel Exfoliant, um, it's for like dry skin which is perfect because I live in the tundra so I always have dry skin and you can literally see your dry skin coming off so anyway it's super cool next question um favorite purse this was another thing that was hard for me to just choose one so I do have two of my purses out here um the first one is this Michael Kors one I love this one because in here it has a spot for all of your debit cards and everything and I also love it because the inside has three big compartments so this is like my big purse I can carry my Mac in there um, and stuff if I am going somewhere and then this is if I want like a smaller little purse it's just a little blush pink Kate Spade um, and then it has a little wallet that goes with it so I love this too. I actually recently just got this one, but my other ones I've had for a long time. What else? Um, what's the best thing that has happened to you? Um, I feel like the obvious answer is my kids. So that's what I'm going with. Best place you have traveled. Um, Belize was pretty amazing. Um, Lake Havasu, Arizona is amazing. Um, but one place that we continue going back, probably just because it's so close, so we go there often, is, um, Moose Jaw and Regina, Saskatchewan in Canada. So, that's another favorite place. What else? Um, if you went to a medium, how was your experience? I did go to a medium. I have been to a medium... Well, okay, I've done two over-the-phone mediums, and I've done one medium in person. Surprise, um, with all of them, I should say, I gave a fake name, um, fake information. I paid with someone else's debit card. Um, I did not, I was very skeptical, so I did not want um, any of them to know who I was. Um, and surprisingly, the lady who I went who I just like did it with over the phone two times um, was absolutely amazing. She said things to me that no one would ever know um, unless she was actually talking to that person. Um, and then the one that I went to in person was just not, um, I don't know. She said a couple things but they were more so like things about me that she could be saying to anyone. Um, they weren't really messages from any loved ones, I guess. So, I prefer the lady who does it over the phone. Um, my biggest weakness. My biggest weakness is not saying how I actually feel to people. Like if I have something to tell them or confront them about, I hate confrontation. So I will do anything to avoid that and it really has turned out to be my biggest weakness because I feel like I'm just too nice a lot of the time. Um, my biggest strength. Um, I would say being a mom but I don't know if that's really an answer so my next biggest strength would be I'm very good with money I'm very good with budgeting um I don't know I feel like I have like a weird strength for that um if I wasn't a coffee shop owner what would I be doing or what is your dream job um I actually went to college to be a uh, mental health and addictions counselor um, after my experience so 
I would either be doing something like that or I would be doing something having to deal with finance. Although I did take some accounting classes when I was in college and I was not a fan. I like the more simple methods of budgeting and just keeping things simple but yet still getting the job done. So I would say a mental health and addictions um, person, counselor, but really in my far-fetched goals I would have my own um, facility where I helped people who had mental health problems and addiction problems. So that's my dream, I guess. My favorite pastime. Uh, my favorite pastime is probably when like the kids go to bed and just sitting down and either watching some YouTube videos or reading a book or working on budgeting. I do budgeting for some people, um, for some other people that have me do it for them. So I like to sit and work on that. Um, favorite day of the week. My favorite day is Sunday. Um, mainly because it's like a relaxing day um, throughout the morning. All my kids are home. Um, and then it's always my cleaning day and it's not the cleaning that I like. <laughs> I don't know why I like Sunday. It's just my favorite day of the week. Um, worst physical pain that you've endured? Um, that would be, I mean, I had three C-sections, so those obviously didn't feel good, but the worst physical pain that I endured was my, um, I had like a lot of mouth surgery done. Um, I do have crowns on some of my top teeth uh, and I just had a really bad experience to be honest with all of it. So that was probably the most physical pain but actually the very most um, also has to do with my mouth and it was when I got my teeth bleached. As weird as that sounds, I feel so dumb even saying that. I've had like 17 surgeries, literally, and that was the worst pain that I've ever endured was when they actually bleached my teeth. Um, I do, I don't know, if anyone's interested, I've considered doing a video about like my whole journey with my teeth and pretty much getting a whole new mouth. Um, I just don't know if that's anything that anyone would really be interested in, but if you are, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know, and I will consider doing that, and I'll maybe even share some before and after pictures, which scares me, but I'll do it <laughs> if anyone wants to see it. Um, and then the last question was most embarrassing thing to happen to you or your kids okay so this is actually a really funny story and it's a good uh way to end this video so um i'd say maybe like five five years ago um we were eating at this super fancy restaurant with um a couple of friends that we used to have just me and my husband and her and her husband and it was a super fancy restaurant we had literally never even ate there before um because it was just so fancy and whatever um we were seated next to this really i don't know a good word it was a very known big wig family i guess for lack of better words um we were seated right next to them and i ordered I ordered shrimp, okay, and it came out on like a skewer, right, so like a long skewer, and it was just like on Pretty Woman all over again. I took my fork and I was like trying to get one of the shrimp off because they were kind of stuck on there, and I took my fork and I was just like slowly inching it off, and all of a sudden my fork slipped and the entire shrimp shot across the table over okay it literally went in that man's wife's purse so that was super embarrassing I don't think I've ever felt um more red in my life 
Um, of course, my kids have said embarrassing things out in public and stuff, but I can't remember any of them off the top of my head. But that moment that I just told you is one that I will never forget. So that was probably my most embarrassing moment. But anyway, that wraps up this video. Like I said, please subscribe if you are new. I have honestly lots of really fun videos coming. So that's all. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.